Hey guys, it's Kirsten with Sleeping on the Job podcast. So I just made a watermark to protect your gallery because I had two people um, last week just screenshot their gallery um, with this message on it which I'll show you in a second, um, and share all over social media. And I know they did that because they were super excited and they love their images, but it makes them look strange because it says don't copy right on the picture and then people just still copy. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and export this picture so I can get to the dialog box and I can show you like what I was doing. So for example, I would just um, hit control A to highlight all of these images, but I'm just gonna um, show you this one here. So I'm gonna highlight this and press export. Okay, so this dialogue, I'm in, in case you can't figure it out, I'm in Lightroom. Okay, this is how I batch export into my watermarked um, galleries. Cause I'll highlight everything, you know, 100 pictures or whatever. Oh, 394 in hers, but anyway, that's besides the point. So. I, I made a preset called web. These are full resolution, web resolution. Um, I got these settings off of the interweb somewhere, who knows. So I already have, I already named the files in bridge when I import, so I don't need to do that again. So this is what I do. Make sure you're in sRGB. The long edge is 2048, resolution 72. Um, I don't know about any of all this stuff, whatever. Okay, so watermark. So I'm gonna go ahead and do edit watermarks. Okay, so I already, um, I called it X because it has a big X on it. Um, ooh, I didn't even know I could do that. Um, now that I look at it, the opacity might be a little high, but we'll see. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. Um, hit choose and then go to where your watermarks live. Um, I have all logos and watermarks on my external hard drive. Um, it's called logo is just the subfolder that it's in. Um, I can show you here. Um, so I have all my photos. Well, some on this, on this hard drive, um, my pricing, um, my podcast, whatever, um, textures, and, and whatnot, and then logo. Here's all my logos. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the PNG and hit okay. I'm gonna cancel this because I already did it. Now, at first, it's going to look something like this. It's gonna look really small, right? Really small. So you have to straight away go to fill so it fills the image like this, okay? Um, I usually anchor it to the center. I just do that for all the things, except for when I just want it right across the bottom, not to be completely obnoxious. Then I'll do it down here, but usually I anchor it right to the center like that. Fill it however you want to fill it. And then the opacity, but see, you don't want to go something like this because one of my old watermarks looked like this and a grandma at one of my photo shoots said, oh, I." I printed out, I mean, it's like 10 years ago. I printed out my daughter's senior photo um, in an eight by 10 with your watermark right across her face, but it doesn't really bother me. You don't really see it. And I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. Lesson learned. That was like literally like 2009. I don't know what it was. Um, anyway, so lesson learned. But last week with, so I had it, let's just say, let's just put it at like 40%. So last week, two senior parents shared screenshots that looked just like this. It wasn't her, but two other, two others. And the mother, the parents are like, oh my God, these images are beautiful. Now I cringe, first of all, you haven't paid for it, so don't share it yet. And second of all, I soft proof. So this image, for example, is not, it's not edited. Um, you know, her eyes are kind of dark, her skin could be, you know, maybe a little smooth. It does look beautiful. I do have um, three lights on this one, on this you know, I have my Einstein on the left and I have my AD200 Pro um, for the hair light. And then I did have a little rim light over here, which you can't see the way she's posing, but I do have it because I love my off-camera flash. I love my flashes. Anyway, um, so these are all the um, settings you're going to want and then hit save. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel because I already did it. Actually, you know what? I should hit save because I 
like the 40% opacity. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. I'm going to call it X21. It's already um, A. And then hit create. And then hit export. Um, I already have that one exported, so we're going to do use a unique name and it's going to export the file. Okay, so now let's go find that file. Um, that was in 2020. Look how many years I've been shooting digital, 2006. Oh, I don't remember what number that was. yucky desktop too. Oops. Um, anyway, but you can see here um, that it probably would stop them. This is my old watermark site. <laughs> I don't know what number the picture was of the one I just exported. Um, I could look it up. I suppose. What number was that? 201. Oh, I wasn't even close, right? Okay, so that's the new one. Okay, so 40% is probably a little bit, little dark. That to me is a little bit obnoxious. Um, so I'm gonna lower it even more to maybe like 30. I gotta figure out what that one is. That one I feel like is maybe a little too light. This one I feel like is a little bit too dark. So maybe 30% is a good opacity. Um, okay, so how we're going to um, do that. So let's hit export again. We're gonna go down to watermarks and we're gonna hit edit watermark. Um, up here, we're gonna do, okay, click on 2021. This opacity was at 65. Okay, that's way too crazy. Okay, so we're going to go delete 2021. We're going to go back up to the A. A is 40. I still think 40 is too dark. So I'm going to try 35 or should we go 30? Let's go 32. How about that? Save and I'm going to put, I'll do 2021X. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit export and overwrite the other one so it doesn't get confusing. Okay, it's done exporting. That's the unique name. Okay, so that's 34% or whatever it was. Um, that looks okay to me. That sends a message, but also if you kind of like step back and look at it. You can still see her features, eyes, nose, mouth, everything looks fantastic. So there you have it. I hope that helps.